So SOLO3 was the third of the SOLO studies of olaparib and ovarian cancer um, trials and um, demonstrated a superior overall response rate supported by a good progression-free survival in patients with uh, platinum-sensitive germline BRCA mutated ovarian cancer. And, and the background is really that the hope for this first in-class PARP inhibitor was going to be a small 97 patient, uh, study 12 it was called, um, comparing two doses of the capsule with uh, pegylated liposomal doxorubicin. And people were so excited about this new agent that we thought, quick phase two trial, everything's done. And, uh, and uh, in these patients, sensitive to DNA integrating drugs, pegylated liposomal doxorubicin performed really well. And so the study showed equivalency to both good agents. And, and so the whole program was put back actually years by that. And so um, we, we now have a much more complicated thing. Six trials put together in three or greater prior lines of uh, uh, treatment, 34% response rate. And uh, so we've got FDA approval, but it's like, how good is the drug? And so Solo One, um, staggering improvement to uh, outcome. Uh, you get a laparib as a switch maintenance therapy, a first line therapy, and PFS improves from from one to to more than three years, and the hope is to cure. Solo two solid endorsement is effective um, uh, for platinum sensitive recurrence. Now solo three just adds to that in terms of really effective aging as third line therapy, 85% response rate. So very exciting.